I'm glad you've got some time to take a break and watch my new video. But it's a shame that the next second might become the last moment of your life. You, your apartment, your city, planet Earth, and everything you hold dear on it will get disintegrated in a split second. This horrible catastrophe will be caused not by a supervolcano eruption, nor a killer asteroid, or a supermassive black hole. We'll all cease to exist because of emptiness, or a vacuum as scientists like to say. But how could it be possible? In this video, you're going to learn what dangers are waiting for us in seemingly empty places. Can physicists on Earth destroy the entire cosmos? And most importantly, can a vacuum end the world we know and love? We tend to think that a vacuum is something plain and boring. However, it can be quite different. To make your room truly clean, you must do the proper thorough cleaning. It's about time. A mega robot vacuum will have to do its absolute best to suck up everything that happens to be in the way, from a large desk chair to the very last molecule of air. But even that won't be enough to create total emptiness in the room, or in other words, a vacuum. To do that, we'll have to remove the elementary air particles that are smaller than molecules. They're produced by quantum fields, for example, electromagnetic. When one of these fields contains energy, it bubbles like water in a kettle and ejects particles into the emptiness. But if the field has zero energy, it relaxes just like you after a long day at work. Let's switch all fields off. Here we go. We've created a true vacuum in our room. Now, the atmosphere is perfectly calm and there are no danger signs. But in practice, it turns out that not all the fields are willing to let themselves drop to zero. They can have a certain reserve of energy even in a calm state. That's like lying down to rest on the back of a sofa instead of the cushions. The nothingness of this sort is called a false vacuum, and this thing is not harmless. Its quantum fields can simulate inactivity for billions of years and then suddenly dump all their energy so that there's none left. The repercussions can be compared to that of a magnitude 10 earthquake, and it won't strike just the room, but the entire universe. I bet you want me to reassure you that we live in a safe, true vacuum. I wish I could, but I have bad news. Why are some scientists sure that our universe is surrounded by an explosive false vacuum? Higgs, boson, particle, how could you not get that? <laughs> He's right, Penny, it's all there. They've spent a lot of time monitoring the unusual behavior of the Higgs field that's not even pretending to be relaxed. Under normal conditions, all the quantum fields around us dance the night away like students on campus. But even when scientists cut the power so that the fields have nowhere to get energy from, some part of the Higgs field, or the Higgs boson, continues partying as if nothing's happened and nobody knows how. But that's actually a good thing, because if it weren't so energetic, all things in the universe, including us, would be weightless. Although, if the Higgs field someday didn't just disappear, but decided to get rid of its extra charge without warning, the false vacuum of our universe will immediately turn into a true one, which will have devastating consequences. Will it entail an epic space quake hitting all the galaxies? Or can it be that our solar system will face the big rip? Or will we all just get squished to the delight of all flat earthers? Truth be told, astronomers have no idea what might happen to our world in case of vacuum decay. But they do know how this universal catastrophe will start. What will trigger false vacuum decay? The answer depends on how exactly the Higgs field works. Researchers have two possible models. The first one suggests that the Higgs field balances on its energy hill just like on the back of that sofa. However, the fun will be over when an incredibly powerful blast shatters at least one Higgs boson and throws it into a state of a true vacuum. 
In turn, this teeny tiny particle will teach the rest of the Higgs field around it how to lose energy. That's how a vacuum bubble will start growing and make the last judgment come way faster than we expected. The bubble will keep swelling indefinitely since the Higgs field permeates the entire universe. When getting trapped in it, any matter will instantly disintegrate into massless elementary particles. Only one fact is comforting here. Scientific calculations say there can hardly be an explosion so huge that its force will damage at least one Higgs boson. The second option, however, says that a vacuum apocalypse can happen anytime, even the next minute. According to this model, the Higgs field is stuck in a false vacuum while a high barrier separates it from a true vacuum. But the laws of quantum mechanics state that there can be no serious obstacles to elementary particles like the Higgs boson. Quantum tunneling lets them go through any barrier without hindrance. If at least one particle of the Higgs field suddenly decides to tunnel into a true vacuum area and dumps all its energy, we'll anyway have to deal with the chain reaction and the indefinitely expanding deadly vacuum bubble. It may well be that false vacuum decay is already happening in outer space right this second. Does it mean we have no other choice but to accept our fate and wait for the sad ending? Do we stand any chance of surviving in vacuum decay? Scientists have calculated that wherever our lethal vacuum bubble appears, it'll be inflating at the speed of light, at around 300,000 kilometers per second. This means it'll need about 8 minutes to cover the distance from us to the sun. Even if we place a giant shield made of the most durable material in front of the Earth, the deadly vacuum bubble will simply disintegrate it along with our planet. At the same time, if the bubble forms in the center of the Milky Way, we'll have around 27,000 years ahead of us before the disintegration comes. But when it does, this again will mean we're all done for. Earth has only one chance to make it through the apocalypse unleashed by the bubble and remain in one piece. We'll live in case the bubble shows up somewhere near the edge of the observable universe. Because due to the constant expansion, its remote corners drift away from us faster than light. So the lethal bubble will never catch us. However, some scientists are worried that the vacuum catastrophe may not start somewhere in the depths of space, but right here on Earth, in the Large Hadron Collider. British astrophysicist Martin Rees thinks that the experiments in which particles collide at near-light speeds may one day produce enough energy to send the Higgs field into a state of a true vacuum. If this bubble emerges on Earth, it'll wipe us out in no time. But wait a second, this sounds familiar. In the 1940s, before history's first nuclear weapon test was conducted, scientists of the Manhattan Project feared that the atomic blast would trigger a chain reaction that might ignite the Earth's atmosphere or instantly boil the ocean in case of an underwater explosion. Spoiler alert, none of that happened. That's why today, most physicists are sure that Martin Rees is wrong. They believe the Large Hadron Collider will never have enough power to create the deadly vacuum bubble. But let's not forget that a new Chinese collider will start operating in 2030. It'll be two times bigger and seven times more powerful than its predecessor. I think I can already hear the tired Higgs field vibrating somewhere in the distance in eager anticipation.